Hey, what's going on everyone? I had to finish up the EV quad. It's the easiest thing to do. Um, I'm just gonna run through it real quick because literally you could do it in three or four hours. Um, and I wanna show you how to hook it all up. Um, mounting stuff might take a little longer, but actually wiring it is pretty simple and it's the cheapest way to go is a brushed motor. They're 85% efficient, which kind of sucks, but I have huge battery packs. So I'm gonna run through it real quick, do a little bench test. The wires are exposed because I was just putting it together. Basically, the throttle comes down around. There's two cords, positive and negative. This is an all tracks controller. Uh, let's move this. Go around the other side. The positive one goes over here, the far side. Negative one on the other side, close to the controller. Then this is the part that got me mixed up a little bit. Um, the contactor. So you got the positive from the battery that goes into this side of the contactor. I'm sorry, that goes into this side of the contactor and then comes out of that side of the contactor. There is a resistor that goes from one side to the other. This one's the one going to the blah, 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 controller. I'm sorry, this one goes to the controller. This one over here is the one from the battery. So I have the battery right here. These are two batteries run in series, 120 amp hours, uh, seven, 67 volts. So this is a pre-charge resistor. It goes in here. This little diode goes on this side one two i was messing up because i was putting one here and one here and they would constantly open and shut you got the positive and negatives coming out here actually i don't know if these positive and negatives but you have the two coming out here this one over here goes sorry gotta get up again to the black um box on the all tracks controller the other side goes to the red one but also join in a wire to that one so you have the one from the contactor and then you have another wire sistered up with it that comes out and gets hooked up to your throttle actually um so i have it directly wired right now but this would oh fall out so this wire would essentially be your on and off switch um this would go up to a on off switch and then go from the power supply so it would turn on your controller you can see as soon as i touch it to the power watch the controller and you can hear the controller you can hear the contactor click on and off so that turns it on and off I have a fuse, inline fuse, that goes from the contactor to the controller. All right, bear with me. So, then you have the negative and positive. I put a 12 volt battery on there just to see which way it'll spin to make sure I'm spinning it the right way. Negative, positive. The positive runs to the positive side of the controller. And so you'll have the power coming in from the contactor and the one coming out that goes to your motor. The battery negative goes to here on the B negative. And then there's, I believe it's an M on the other side. And the M goes to the negative on the, um, on the uh, motor. That is the entire setup. That literally is it. So I'm gonna show you. Do a little bench test here. I'm gonna run my cable back up. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. And then I'll show you what we got here. So I literally wired this up in about an hour or so, not even. Um, so I'm just sticking that in there. You can see the power's on, no blinking light. If there's blinking light, you need to Look at your manual and see what the blinks mean. But 
That's that. I bought this guy off of Electric Motorsport. Um, and also, I got the contractor contactor from Electric Motorsport. Uh, batteries were battery hookup. Um, the controller, I think it was off eBay. Same with the motor. So that's it. All I have to do is get the chain link in, the master chain, and I am set and can take off. Um, and mess around with the controller to, uh, or, yeah, mess around with the controller. I'm going to up the amps to about, uh, 450, um, to 500. But honestly, these batteries are able to support a lot of power and will last a hell of a long time. The only downfall is that I don't have a charger big enough to charge it. I only have a 5 amp charger, so it's going to take a year to charge it if I run it out. Um, but yeah, so that's the quad. All I have to do is button it up. I got to get the wiring a little prettier and um, cover, put caps on the contactors. Uh, the on off switch have to mess with that just hook it up really and that's it So I'm gonna take put it on if I have the uh, If I can find the master link I am going oh wait I don't think that's the master link for this Maybe this I'm not sure if I find it I will put up some videos of me ripping around but this thing should be an absolute beast. Um, and I'm trying something different. I don't know if anyone else has done it, but I'm putting the, uh, as you can see, the motor on the swing arm. One of the things that I've done to most of my motorcycles is the hub motors, just because it leaves a lot more room for batteries. Could you imagine squeezing a motor in there? Um, so I was able to put a huge motor on the back and I'm gonna see what happens. Uh, welded it in there, welded a support bracket, um, actually had to raise it uh, back to stock in the back, lowered it three inches in the front, but I don't know if anyone knows, I need a stiffer spring for the back, so if anyone knows where I can get a stiffer spring, I'd greatly appreciate it, but that's the uh, quad build, I'll be off riding tomorrow.